Taylor, you want to follow up? Yeah. Um, so you're holding the autobiography of Malcolm X along with Alex Haley. I don't know how far you are into the book, but what's your biggest takeaway so far? Um, I kind of just started a couple of days ago, um, but um, I've read and a lot of a lot of notes over the years. Um, it's my first time actually reading it from start to finish. Um, but just a very um, very smart man, very 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 smart man, and basically. Um, his words in the in the sixties and uh, and what was going on is actually what's going on today. Still, um, him understanding the um, how powerful um, the Negro can be. He used that word a lot. How powerful we are, um, but we have to unite and uh, we have to be together. We have to stand strong because there's always going to be obstacles. There's always going to be um, you know, things that's going to be thrown at us where they try to weaken us, um, they try to fill up, make us feel like we're not kings and queens. Um, and it's going to come from all, you know, different races and different si shapes and sizes and things of that nature. Um, and uh, just a very powerful minded uh, gentleman. And, um, and it's, it's unbelievable to, to kind of read something that's coming directly from him. Just hate. Um, wish I had an opportunity to meet him. Obviously, we know what, what, what the situation that happened along, uh, not only him, but Dr. Martin Luther King, some of the greats that's ever walked this uh, face of the earth, not only just here in America, but in uh, this face of the earth. So, uh, it's a pretty, pretty interesting, interesting book so far.